Hello coders, welcome to One Little Coder. I came across an interesting tweet by Ramshri where he was talking about a tweet shortener, an NLP idea. So it's like an NLP product, a small startup. So this basically when you give a bunch of text, it should shorten the text and give you the shortened text. It's very typical like your typical uh, text summarizer. But this gave me an interesting idea. I was thinking if I have to build this, a prototype, uh, an MVP, a minimum viable product, what I would use. I would probably use Hugging Face and Gradio. Gradio gives you an amazing interface, something like this, a very quick UI and Hugging Face for uh, the tick summarization part actually. And I thought if I have to deploy an MVP, where would I deploy it? And I thought I would deploy it at Hugging Face Spaces, which is a place where you can deploy Streamlit or Gradio application quite easily. Now, the challenge is, do I want to code or no? That's a, that's a real challenge, right? So what I thought is, what if I ask OpenAI Codex to do the coding for me? So in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use OpenAI Codex to build a code and then deploy the code on Hugging Face Spaces using radio and Hugging Face Transformers. The output product would look something like this. I have a lot of text. I'm going to copy the text and then I've got the app deployed here. I'm going to submit it. After I submit it, it's going to shorten this entire, you know, the large lot of paragraphs and text, and then it's going to give me a shortened version. So you can see, as you can see, like I have a lot of text, and then it's going to say, oh, as a solo developer, I decided to offer a phone support, and this is what happened. And you know, a very small text. Now I can customize this text to only make it a tweet size, which might, you know, just uh, suffice what Ram Shri is talking about and this viral tweet, a lot of people are talking about. So basically, Without me coding anything, without me leaving my browser, I'm going to show you how to create an AI product or AI startup, whatever you would like to call. Or if you don't like buzzwords, simply an NLP product that we are going to build using OpenAI Codex, deploy it on Hugging Face Spaces. Let's get started. So the first thing is, I want to tell Hugging Face Spaces, oh sorry, I want to tell OpenAI Codex what I want to do. So I'm going to select DaVinci Codex, which is the Codex engine. I'm going to say, in Python 3, can you give me build a text summarizer using Hugging Face and Gradio? Okay, I think this looks like a good text. Let me see what happens when I submit it. Okay, it's uh, basically trying to do some summarization and then it's going to create the app, oh, done, a code is done. I think within a couple of seconds, a code is done. So the next thing I'm going to do here is, at this point, the code is done. If you want to check it, you can copy paste it in Google Colab. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it on the go. I mean, like, this is for demonstration purpose. Do not try it at home. So this is, like, DevOps guys might probably hate me for doing this thing, but I just wanted to try it out. So I'm going to go to Google, or like DuckDuckGo, wherever you are using. I'm going to open Hugging Face Spaces. Okay, so that's going to open Hugging Face Spaces for me. And after I click this, it's going to give me an option to create a new space. This is not available for everybody. I'll link it in the YouTube description where you can sign up for the beta access. I'm fortunate, thanks to Hugging Face for giving me the space access. So after I log in, I'm going to create new space. And then I have two options. I can deploy a Streamlit application or a Gradio application. In my case, I want a Gradio application and I'm going to call it open a codex summarizer because because it's been coded by opening a codex i just wanted to say that after i click this create space i can create a space like a lot of things now you might think oh dear what you want to do was uh, do everything on the browser but right now you have to leave your browser and then go to your local machine use git and push no 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 you that is a good practice i'm not going to do that we're going to quickly create an AI product, right? We are not going to do any of those things. What I'm going to do here is Hugging Face has very clearly placed a button here for me to create the app. So when I click this create app, you might notice that I've been taken into an editor, like, like very typical here, like a GitHub editor, where I can actually paste the code. So I'm going to copy the code from, from my OpenAI API or Codex interface, and then I'm going to paste it here. Oh, sorry. That's a, that's, a, that's a typical wrong paste. I'm going to paste this, okay? So at this point, I've got my code. So I'm going to make a couple of mistakes and I'm going to fix it on the go to tell you what are those mistakes, okay? So the first thing is, 
when i when i commit this it's going to throw me an error okay so it it will try to build you can see and it will throw me an error and the reason it will throw me an error is because gradio comes installed with hugging face spaces but none of the other libraries so we need to install transformers as well so now at this point we don't have a requirements.txt file so if i go to app it's going to say oh no module name transformers i still don't know why hugging face is not bundling up transformers with the default space i mean like i would i would probably do that because it's it's my library right hugging face library but that's okay that's uh, i'll leave it up to them i'm going to click click add file create a new file i'm going to call this file requirements.txt and i'm going to add transformers to be on safe side i'm going to install pytorch as well like just add that um if if i'm changing the model so at this point i'm going to create um or i'm going to add a requirements.txt file that is supposed to install transformers and pytorch okay so now at this point you can see that the required libraries are successfully installed but there's a very weird error right error occurred while trying to proxy hugging face.co now you might wonder why why would i proxy it and then the answer lies in your typical gradio code because your typical gradio code is something that you write on um, on google collab and then you would try to actually launch the gradio and gradio app ui within the collab environment so you just have to say inline is equal to false which means like you don't want this to be uh, published inline uh, so that's that's why it was trying to proxy it commit the changes and then let's um, let's hope that it's going to show the app oh done so at this point you have got the open ai codec summarizer up and running now let's see whether it works i have to copy the same text that i was copying before and i'm going to go back here i'm going to paste it and i'm going to submit it and oh is there is there an error let me let me refresh it let me refresh it again paste it submit it you can see that it is taking a couple of seconds 3 4 5 6 oh at 6.75 seconds we have we have got the output as a solo developer i decided to offer phone support and this is what happened so far i've continued with it for half an year and so i'll update you blah 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 like you basically have got a summarized text using the code that you did not write thanks to open ai codex which has written a very small like succinct code for you and we deployed that code using hugging face spaces and all this is happening completely on the browser like yeah, i have not left my browser you can actually see there is not any editing happening and to answer ramshree's tweet we have managed to create a nlp project or nlp product or ai startup whatever you would like to call within a couple of minutes using open ai codex deploy the mvp on hugging face and thanks to gradio for this amazing super fast ui creation basically we didn't create any ui it's just a couple of lines and um, yeah it's it's just this, this line and then you have got a ui in place that can do text summarization now probably like you can take this idea to any vc and then try to get some funding but if you are going to get funding please remember that it is one little coder who gave you this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not give me thumbs up and share your thoughts what do you think about this project do you, do you have interest in creating something like this do are you going to actually create a product that that can you know serve this viral tweet uh, let me know in the comment section otherwise stay safe see you in the next video